What's going on guys? Right on me teacher now, so we are back with the EDL week number seven. Team Rebombard X are taking on the Table Flippers and Coaches Exo Stomp and Solo Destroyer. This week is do or die for us. If we lose this match, we're pretty much out of playoffs at this point, although there are a couple of people that are on similar records to us. But the Table Flippers are actually only ahead of us on differential, so this is a pretty important match. Now, alongside that, I really want to beat these guys because they had the audacity to drop my mascot before facing me. So they joined the list of the chickens that can't be asked to bring my mascot against me. Feels bad, man. But either way, though, despite that, they have a pretty strong team. Uh, running down the list, they have a Mimikyu, a Mandibuzz, a Vaporeon, Kabalion, Araquanid, Stunfisk, Heatmore, Serena, Exploud, and Kyurem. Is it worth noting that Kyurem is actually extremely high up in their kills for their team? Uh, they use Kyurem pretty well in general. But Kambat, why don't you break down our team for this week? Alright, so this week, first we have Keldeo. Uh, just Utility Keldeo. T-Wave, Stealth Rock, Moonblast, of course. Uh, then and Keldeo is have... a clef. But yeah. Yeah, that's a clef, not a Keldeo. <laughs> uh, then we have an actual Keldeo, which is Subcom Mine, Dual Stab. Uh, then next we have Rotom Frost, which we're bringing Nasty Pot because Dual Stab hits their entire team very, very hard. Uh, then we have a Drapion, which is just... They don't have a Grounded Poison, so we're bringing Toxic Spikes, Sash Lead against them, with Taunt for possibly stalling out a Vaporeon or something. Then we have Sweeper Haxorus with Dragon Dance, and then Dragon Claw, Earthquake Shadow Claw, uh, this is our win con this week, and then last but not least, we have Scarf Doug Trio. This is good because it'll outspeed Kyurem at plus one. It also outspeeds everything on their team, uh, even with the Choice Scarf, except maybe like Jolt on. I don't remember. Uh, so yeah, just really, really fast and very nice for a possible Dragon Dance Kyurem. All right, and with all that being said, we're gonna click that accept button. Good luck, of course, to Table Flippers. Let's see what you bought for us. Okay, so they brought pretty much everything that we expected. No x Plot, they brought Heatmore instead. Oh, that's that's great. I don't like x Plot. No, I'm not a huge fan of x Plot either. But otherwise, we nailed the team pretty much spot on. Yeah. So, we do have a Drapion lead. I don't uh, see a reason why we don't need Drapion. It was our plan yeah. from the get-go. Yeah. We... we our guess, I guess our plan will be to force their Mandibuzz to defog, so we definitely want to get T-Spikes up early. Yeah. They actually don't have Vaporeon. That's interesting, too. Yeah, I figured they'd take Araquanid instead. Yeah. I don't see any reason to not lead Drapey on her. Yeah, I agree. Let's go for it. Just going to say good luck of fun in the chat, because why not? Uh, the... They're taking a long time here. Yeah, I don't know why. Iron Head definitely looks pretty good endgame. With Kyurem. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he moors their Clefable switch in. Which, we're just gonna T-Wave and beat up later. They need Kabalion, actually. Okay. I mean, we just set up T-Spike here. It's too good not to. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I don't even know if this thing gets a move to hit us. I don't think it does. It doesn't I get mean, close like... combat. Close combat. I mean, we're sashed anyway, so who cares? Exactly. Just gonna T-spike. Yep. No reason not to. Yeah, if they go Mandibuzz, that's fine. If they go Mandibuzz, I mean, probably just taunt it. Yeah, because we should outspeed it. Yeah. Bolt switch, yep. I'm okay with this. He yep. has demand about us, as we expected. Yeah, I definitely do just want to taunt this, because I can't do anything. Yeah. Foul play. Foul play might do like 20. 
knock off as their other option, but when our sash is already broken. Yeah. So we just talk. I'd rather just talk first. We will want to knock it off though, so it takes rocks. Will be important. I don't think this is going to be some random offensive with weak armor, so I think we're okay just to knock off. Yeah, agreed. Weak armor could be scary, but I don't think they'd bring him. Not with a Cable, because I don't think he gets like Sludge Bomb or something. No, it doesn't. Otherwise, I would have run it in OU. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Plus, we have a Rotom as well, so... Right. It's probably, like, especially we... bulky at best. Like... Yeah. It does kind of look like they're Keldeo Chuck, but... I don't know. We just need to prevent it from defogging while their entire team gets poisoned and then defog when we have webbed up on our side. Actually U-turn, that's interesting. I'm sorry. Back well, into the Cabalion. Yeah, I do think we get up a second T-spike here. Yeah, because it looked like they were thinking we were knocking there. Yeah. I mean, they're just going to do the same play, but I don't think it's that bad for us. Yeah, I don't think so either. I don't feel like going hard dug trio is a good play. No, because they can just close combat us in the face. Yeah. And they kind of want to semi keep the dug trio around for the cure. Yeah, dug trio is going to be really nice late. I'll switch, I'll switch again. Switch. That's fine. Mandibuzz, that's okay. We definitely do just taunt once again here. I mean, we can just keep doing us. Like, we've done our job with Drapion at this point. Yeah, pretty much. What Cabalion set are we thinking? Is that special? I don't think so. They're not special. That whole switch did barely anything. Yeah, that's not special. Okay. So it could be just... like a bulky pivot set, but I feel like they're more likely offensive. Well, like, thinking about it, I kind of just want to knock off here. Same. I'm a little scared they of them should. going for the attack, but or like I mean, um, if they do, staying they'll in. probably not. they'll probably knock us out if they do. So yeah, that's true. And if they do something like yeah, so, that's the CC. Yeah. So we kind of knew that was coming. Yep. But we did our job with Drapion. We only needed it for so, two spikes. So what I don't want to do is go Doug Trio and immediately let them default. So I'm thinking we will Keldeo. I was thinking Keldeo as well. Go Doug Trio. The downside is we kind of speed tight. Yeah, but they're probably going to be more likely to switch out here. Random buzz defensive. How much does that crew do? Anyway? Stone edge. Nothing. Perfect. How much is Secret Sword doing from Caldia? Just straight up. Into this? Uh, it might actually open. Okay. Because of the def special Defe defense, or the defense drop, it's kind of what I was looking at. Yeah. I feel like Could if we go Caldeo, they just go Araquanid. Yeah, but we can sub on that and set up. I'm I mean, okay with going Caldeo anyway. I mean, we can hard Seeker Sword, but I'd rather sub first. Yeah, agreed. I don't think they should ever close combat here, as we could be Scar. Which, I guess, clicking Secret Sword here does preserve that bluff. Honestly, we could just double into Rotom. I don't want to risk that now on a close combat, like, though. Actually, looking at it, do you think this is Scar? Uh, no. Uh, it's possible. Because they've only Vault Switched don't... before, but they only Vault Switched on things it's naturally faster than. Yeah, well they only Vault Switched because Close Combat wouldn't kill Drapion. And they didn't want to risk an Earthquake, which means I don't think it's Bandit, but I do think it could be Scar. Because otherwise you'd probably just Iron Head there. 
one. Another option is we could fire off a skull. Yeah, I like that less though. I like it less but... too, but it's, a, it's an option. Because we can't burn a Raquanid. So. But forcing a Raquanid in is great, because that means it gets poisoned. Which is really important. So maybe that's what we do want to do. I'm not... I still think sub's the best play. I prefer sub of all of our options here. Yeah, they did go Raccoonhead as expected. But that's they good go for Raccoon. us. That's great. Because now we can calm mind here. Yeah. And that means we'll 1v1 with for sure. I'm assuming that Liquidation does break sub, which it does. Yeah, it should do. Yeah, but plus one Seeker Sword does 30, and we can sub spell. Not to mention if they go for webs, then we're just in a great position. Because Mandibuzz is going to want to defog at some point. That's the liquidation. Yeah. I'm thinking we just sub again. We could. If we sub once, then Seeker Sword 2 KOs. It actually might 2 KO from this range. It actually does. Let's see. I kind of want to sub and wear it down. Uh, 30, 66. So I do think two Seeker Swords plus Toxic Damage will take this out. So I'm kind of thinking that that's our best play. Does this thing get Toxic? Yes, it does. Araquanid? Yeah, it does. So I kind of want to sub and see if they go for it. Okay. But I don't think they ever click it here. I don't think they ever click it, but I think it's a good possibility. That this might well, be like a bulkier set. Well, we end up with much more HP if we just Seeker Sword here. Which is kind of what I'm thinking. But... I mean, I'm okay to click it. I don't have a problem with that. Plus, we'll get an idea if this is, like, defensive. Yeah. Um. Hmm. I don't know. Either's fine. I think we Secret Sword. Just to see what okay. they go for. Yeah. And if they toxic, if it off... sucks. That's the only downside. Yeah, but showing sub and knowing that they're effectively walled, I don't know that they go for it. Alright, we'll if see they are sword. If they are max attack, liquidation does like 35 to 40. I guess they could be banded too. Well, we'll find out. Yeah. But we will live any hit from this. Okay. Okay. That looks very physically bulky. They actually icy wind, which is an interesting play. It's a very, very interesting play. We're still faster than this, though. Yeah. And another secret soul plus toxic kills. Yeah, I mean, we, we definitely just sub here. Yeah, for sure. I do kind of what they're going for. Um, yep, liquidation. So, we what? Seeker Sword here? Might as well. Actually, Just take the KO. Actually, we can Scald here too. The Skull definitely kills. But we might as well click Seeker Sword. Skull definitely does because they're not Water Absorbed. But let's just preserve that we're Skulled, not Hydro Pump. Yeah, exactly. Just in case it matters All later. Right. Raquan is gone. I'm assuming they go Mandibuzz here because they really, really want to defog. And if they do that, then I think we can just scald. Yeah, agreed. I wonder why it they definitely... went minus one speed, though. I guess the Kabalion outspeed it. Yeah, I mean, Which it kind of leads me to volume. believe this Kabalion isn't scarfed. Yeah. It also means also they possible. cure him outspeeds, but I don't know how much that matters. It means Mandibuzz could outspeed as well, but I'm a lot less worried. The fact that their U turn means they're probably not very good. I mean, if they are braver, they're taking way too much damage for it. Yeah. 
Mimikyu. Mimikyu, okay. Well, this will outspeed us now. Yeah. And Playrough's gonna Puff, do a ton. Puff probably walls it, to be honest. Uh, like, looking at it, Keldeo isn't the greatest, because we don't know what Kyurem is. I do kind of want to preserve it though, because if the Kyurem's scarfed, it's not doing much to Keldeo. Yeah, that is true. Do you want to go Clefable here? I like Clefable, because it's basically our most neutral play. Yeah. Hexers can revend it if it doesn't get, like, plus 1200. I think we go Clef, and we can T-Wave on anything. Well, not really, because T-Spike. But we can possibly T-Wave the Qualium. But we definitely would just Moonblast once. Yeah, If we'll he more Clef. comes in with T-Spikes, then we're going to do Play rough as expected. I did a lot. Life That's Life Orb, okay. okay. Yeah. Hmm. Can we not just Let's soft load here? We definitely can. Because they can't kill us unless they crit us. Well, they're 100% clicking Swords Dance. I don't think they have time to do that, though. Well, that's what they're going to do because Disguise. Thinking about it, I kind of do just want to click Stealth Rock. Agreed, that's but if silly. it's Boots Mandibuzz, it doesn't matter. Yeah, but what does matter is Kyurem. Because that tip should put it in Doug 3 range. If we soft load here, can we live Mimikyu's play rough? Probably, right? It doesn't like 90. Oh yeah, we'll definitely live. So there is that. I kind of want to do that, because I want to be at full. Alright. In an ideal works. world, because we need to be able to make sure that we can deal with stuff here. Yeah, unfortunately Doug Trio is a bad Pokemon, so Iron Head only does like 60. 60 to 70 to cure him, which is why rocks are really, really important. But I guess if we soft boiled here and they don't sword stance, then it's just a bonus turn of poison. Yeah. Plus, the more toxic damage it gets, the more likely Haxorus can come in and clean up. Right. And it's life orb. So Haxorus always outspeeds. I think we soft boiled here. Yeah, let's go for it. They switched, so that was a perfect play for us. That works. They go Mana Buzz. Uh, we can... I mean, we're... I'm expecting Defog, right? They have to, That's right? They can't, they can't not. Yeah. We can T-Wave and cock them so we're faster. I mean, we can just Moonblast here. Or we can do that. That's so little, though. Actually, it does a decent amount. That was like 47. We'll get an idea if it's especially bulky as well, because we haven't got investment, so... Yeah. I mean, we can Moonblast and then Stealth Rock next turn, so... Yeah, exactly. That's the Defog, as we expected. That's... That is 40. not especially bulky. I mean, it has some. It's got some, but that's not fully split up. There's no way. Yeah. Right. Definitely just want to click Stealth Rock here. Actually, that might be split up. Um... I almost want a T-Wave. Because I think they're U-turning, and I think well, they're U-turning into Cabalion. I think they're U-turning into Heatmore. That's the only reason they bring Heatmore. And if we can get rocks up, then we're in a great spot. Mandibuzz definitely is boots, but again, forcing another Defog is incredible. Yeah, I'm okay with this. We'll stealth rock. There's the U-turn. Does jack squat. So... Yep, there's yep, the Heatmore. Heat Good call. Alright. We can definitely just T-Wave here. We can also go hard Keldeo and Scald. Uh, but I don't know how much Keldeo does to this. Does this thing get a grass move? It does, it gets Giga Drain. I think T-Wave is fine, think... no? I do think T-Wave is fine. Taunt, they read okay. it. Okay. That's fine. They definitely just Fire Lash here. But that also means they're not AB, which is great. I guess they could be like Paso, but... Do you want to go hard Keldeo? Do we think they have Giga Drain? I think they do, but I don't think it does much. And getting off the Scald is so valuable. Because the other thing I'm thinking of is going Haxorus. 
Yeah, we could. I just don't see us winning without Haxorus right now. And we need it to live foul play. So. Agreed. Alright, let's go Cardio So I think we then. just LDO. Because we have to remember that Haxorus takes like 70% or something ridiculous. Haxorus. Because it's probably going to come down to Haxorus setting up on Mana Buzz. Which. Foul play as a role. So, we need all the help we can get. The good news is they did not get up webs, so Doug Trio still outspeeds their entire team. Yeah, exactly. And they don't know it was Garfed yet. They haven't even seen it. Yeah. Bad news is I think I I might have to like go soon, but I don't know. Solar Beam, Power Herb. Okay. That kinda sucks. Is it Solar Beam? Oh, nice. It's power Herb, Solar Beam, yeah. So now we know what it does. Yeah. I like that set. Very nice set. Does Earthquake kill this thing straight up? Oh, probably. Let's see. From Doggy, I mean. Earth. Oh. Uh, Unless you wanna go Haxorus now. I definitely would prefer to go Haxorus, yeah. An Earthquake. Alright. We are Dragon Claw, not Skiff. Dragon Claw. Legit, I almost want a Dragon Dance here. Dragon Dance still doesn't kill Mana Buzz. <laughs> That's so unfortunate. Part of me wants to go for game, because if we Dragon Dance here, we're faster than Kabadion unless it's Scarfed. Yeah, the problem is, Mandibuzz should come in here and it's not going to take rocks. And we don't kill and it kills back to top play. So, I think we should have played. Okay. I guess we could also just Dragon Claw, but... Mimic you, though? Yeah. Though we do outspeed it. I don't think they ever go Mimic you here. They don't, because the rock's toxic. But Shadow Claw probably kills. Right. We could double into Rodin, but I don't like that because I don't like that because of Fire Move. Yeah, well, I don't like that because it's possible they do go into something like Cabalion. Just randomly. So if we EQ one. here, they go Banda Buzz, we just go Clef. Uh, honestly, I'd prefer just to go, like, hard road on my thing. Oh, we go right him. That's another option. So we need to start getting some sort of initiative. I think we EQ here either way, though. Yeah. Uh, sure. Is your from Rotom almost up those two? Wow, they're taking their time. I wonder if they're scared of us being scale shot. They probably are. Because if we SD here, they're suddenly in a lot of trouble. Yeah. Honestly, though, thinking about it, I do think Dragon Claw is better. I agree, because we at least hit the Manda Buzz. Yeah, because that'll put it in. It definitely wants to roost range. So. Yeah, I'll change it to Dragon Claw. Seems we have time to think. Yeah. Hopefully they go hard cure him. That would be best case scenario. They stayed in actually, that's interesting. Scorching Sands. No burn. So, free Dragon Claw. Actually, yeah, definitely free Dragon Claw. Yeah, agreed. Take the KO. Which actually means Clef can just stall out everybody else. Except Kabalion. Yeah. Which we have Doggy for. 
Yep. Yeah, getting rid of this means Iron Head endgame is closer, which is nice. Just need to find a way through this Cavalian. That's gonna be the downside. We kind of need a T-Wave it. Yeah, we have to definitely chip the volume. With Clef being a full, we live an Iron Head, don't we? I'm pretty sure that's what we put the defense in for. Yeah. So, with that in mind... Yeah, we take this. That's fine. Yeah, that actually means they don't have a good mid last switch in. Hopefully they go Mimikyu and die to Shadow Claw. Yeah. They do go Mimikyu. Um, we do have Shadow Claw for this reason. Pretty nice tag. Does it drop at this point? What? It should drop, Yeah, that's right? what I'm seeing. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, yep. Yeah. So we just click it. They're they're never shadow sneaking here. Just doesn't make sense. Unless this is somehow like scarf mimic you. Oh, it's life orb. Doesn't matter. Yeah, Don't they've already me. shown life orb. The other thing is, they might be thinking we're choiced. With Dragon Claw twice. Because we're not a boosting item, so they could think we're scarfed. Yeah. Which is why they were going into this. Well, I think they're going into this because they live Poison Jab and they just want to get some more value out of it before it dies. There is that. Because it's on a serious timer with Toxic plus Life Orb. lagging so bad. Yeah, it's fine. Again, they're really struggling with us. Yeah. Does Shadow Claw plus Dragon Claw kill Mandibuzz? Oh, it doesn't matter. It's gone. <laughs> I was just yeah. wondering if they might have doubled. Yeah. Okay, here comes the cure. So, are we thinking a Scarf? It's possible. I mean, they have to bluff it anyway, but I think we always go Clef, because we're at full. Indeed. Now we got to see what this thing is. Yeah, I do think because Kowalian's probably not Scarf, this is very likely to be Scarf. Yeah, because what else are they going to be outspeeding? Taxorus plus Piggy right. with? It is very nice that they threw away Mimikyu, though. Flash Cannon, that's interesting. That's definitely scarf damage right there. So this is a free T wave, right? Does Moonblast KO this thing? Mm, I don't think so. I think it does like 60. I guess we should probably soft little first. Because I'm thinking soft load first. Yeah. Well, we can always heal up on Mandibuzz, and I'd rather have this T wave. Or Kabalian T wave. Agreed. But the fact they have Flash Cannon on this. Yeah. They're probably staying in anyway. So right. I think we T-Wave. Agreed. Hopefully we don't miss it. Yup. Of course the other thing would be... Nah. No. 
that's not worth considering. Yeah. I was debating going into Rotom. Because Rotom kind of feels not so useful for us now. Rotom's our best way of breaking Mandibuzz, and if we get it on Mandibuzz, then t bolt is going to hit something really hard. That is true. Not to mention it prevents the Ice Beam Sweep. Okay, no crit. And we connect the T-Wave. Nice. Uh, oh, we might not be faster, though. No, I don't think we are. Um, let's see. We can go Rotom here, though, right? Uh, we could. Just try and chip it down. How much does the flash cannon actually do to Doggy? I don't have my calc up, but probably about 80. Do we even need Clef? At this point, I'm not sure we do. I don't think we do either. Because it's kind of Doggy's so think... job. We could just fire off but... a Moonblast here. Yeah, I, I think self was better. Yeah, because if, if we are faster, which I doubt it, because their hop well, speed is like 160 near enough. It's like 158. Well, 25% 20, well, chance to heal 50%, so might as well go for it. Yeah. If we lose this, it's not the biggest deal in the world. In fact, is this in Iron Head range? No, it's not. Probably not. They got powered anyway, and they are faster than us still. But this is a great turn for us. Now we can just move last. Yep. A little bit unfortunate for them, but that, that sucks, is why you but run. That's the power. That's the power hacks for you. That's why we do it. That is why you run yellow. Oh, no, they got it twice in a row. Damn, that's nasty. And a special attack oh, drop. Yeah, they're gonna be so salty. Sake, for their sake, I hope they don't get quad parry like I did earlier today. <laughs> yeah. Well. I just think we keep Moonblasting. Oh yeah, for sure. We could have- Oh no! That sucks. That sucks. Three powers in a row. That's not fun for them. Little unfortunate, but that's the game we play. That's the whole point of power hacks. <laughs> They're in chat like, you just had to bring the T-Wave, duh. <laughs> it's like, well, yeah. No, I just wanted it to slow everything down. That's really it. We can just Moonblast it still. Yeah. Like, Iron Head's not killing unless this is banded. I actually want to T-Wave it to run faster. Agreed. I wouldn't be against that. <laughs> they might hate us for it, but... I, I mean, want the speed drop. I mean, to be fair, they could Karma and flinch us with Iron Head here. Yeah. But we don't need Clef anymore, so... As the Iron Head doesn't kill. We do get the T-Wave and the power, so... Axros basically just wins the game now. Yeah, so we just click Moonblast until we win. Essentially. Well, until this dies. Yeah. Essentially. Watch him get powered again now. That would just suck for them. I mean, technically, we could softball here as well. If we really want to try and stall him. I think Moonblast is better. I prefer Moonblast as well, I'm saying. It just would be an annoying thing for them to deal with. Because obviously they're still faster than us. I wonder what they're taking time over here.
Huh. What are they thinking about? I mean, the game's fairly over for them. As long as we don't throw. Yeah. I wonder if they're recording this and they're just like super salty right now. Possibly. I kind of feel like that's what's going on here. Because they have no reason to not just click Iron Head. Like, they can't go Mandibus because we're, we're Moonblasting for days here. Yeah. Like, what are they even waiting for? I mean, obviously, Haxorus just wins the game now. And Doggy can also win the game now. It's just whoever we want to give the kills to. Imagine if they just delayed us this long and just clicked the forfeit button. <laughs> yeah. Uh, dude, I wouldn't put it past him either. Ah, uh, dude. They actually went close combat for some reason. Why would you do this? That just so makes it even easier. Like, yeah. why? I mean, were they thinking we were switching here? I don't know. I mean, Maybe they were thinking we were going to go hard dead trio. I mean, technically we could to preserve differential, but screw it. I just want the win. <laughs> don't know about you. I just want the win. I just want to click Moonblast till we die, so. Same. Agreed. Alright, Clef's gone. Uh, who do we want to go? Probably Death Trio. Although Haxorus might be better. I'm thinking Haxorus is the better play because we kill with Earthquake and Dragon Claw, probably two KOs Mandibuzz. And even yeah. if it doesn't, we have a Rotom. Yep. So we got Haxorus. Wait, does Dragon Claw kill it, this thing at minus two? I doubt it. Because if it does, we click that. I don't think so. Actually. It's worth calcing that, because if it does, then we just click Dragon Claw. I think Dragon Claw does, because it's at 30. I think it's worth clicking that. Because if they EQ go Mandibuzz, we're forced out. And we just go doggy. And click Stone Edge. But if Dragon Claw kills us, then we click that. For sure. Dragon Claw, Dragon Claw should. Unless they're ridiculously defensive, which I don't think they are. Alright, Dragon Claw it is. Easy clap. And there is the Mandibus. Do we Dragon Edge uh, on we us? Can... We can honestly just sack Doggy. We can't DD on it because Ralph like no code. Alright, let's go, Doggy. Roost. Perfect. That's what we expected. Now we just Stone Edge. Honestly, Iron Head might be better, but yeah. Which one do you want? I'll uh, probably Iron Head just to guarantee chip. Alright, Iron Head is fine with me. We can also get some flinch axe as well, why not? Yup. Oh, I did nothing. Alright. 
We actually lower the speed as well, which is kind of funny because of tangling here. Alright. Rotom? Yeah, I think so. Does Thunderbolt kill? I doubt it, but we can just nasty plot, right? Yeah, I don't see a reason why not. Nasty plot T bolt should probably kill. Yeah, this should drop to plus two T bolt. In fact, maybe we shouldn't attack Doggy, actually. We needed a differential no, idea, right. but it's fine, whatever. There's Nasty Plot, Thunderbolt, Kill, uh, full. I think it might. If not, it'll 2 at KO, and they can't go back. Yeah, works. Oh, 1%. Damn. That's unfort. Uh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I think that's a roll. I almost want a BM. I almost want a BM kill with Vault Switch. <laughs> Is that bad? <laughs> Fuck it, I'm clicking it. All right, go it. <laughs> we go with Vault Switch, which means that's a very good win for us. We are still in the hunt for playoffs. Good games, of course, to the table flippers. That was a fun one, as always. Uh, <laughs> always fun playing against Saxo. Uh, generally, we get the better of him, so. Good games, of course. Our last week of regular season is going to be against the Rowdy Rillabooms, who are actually playing the Missing Note Bros, so it'll be interesting to see what happens with that game. But either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. My name is Robombi Teacher. That's CambatX. Yeah, it was a fun one. Stay safe, stay awesome, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.